I, I've been chair of the International Tax Committee for the past two years. Um, I served for three years before that as chair of the EMEA Tax Committee. And I've been a member for, I believe, over eight. Uh, so I've been involved in the committees of the association for, for quite a while now. Over the years I've seen, I've seen both the international and regional tax committees uh, grow significantly. I think we've managed um, to achieve global reach, which is quite important. Got some really great people, um, some fantastic tax practitioners uh, situated in all sorts and parts of the world. One of the key benefits of being a BK or International Tax Committee member is that I have, I have the ability to collaborate with peers and colleagues around the world, particularly in the area of international tax, to help my, to service our client effectively in that area. This is my um, sixth time um, attending the meeting I, um, since I joined. I've come every year. Um, Ireland is a small open economy and a lot of the clients we would work on uh, would have international dimensions, uh, whether that's foreign direct investment into Ireland or Irish groups expanding uh, overseas. So I would deal with BKR colleagues in uh, EMEA quite regularly uh, and it's nice to come to the meeting and put a uh, face to the name and get to meet people and I think it cements the relationship in terms of you know, if I'm doing something in Cyprus or in the UK or someone else is doing something there, I can say, you know, go and talk to Angelus, go and talk to that. So, and I know they will look after um, and, and be very responsive. Whenever I come to the Worldwide Conferences, I always sit in the, the international tax breakout sessions. And where I've got really nice benefit is particularly in relations when I interact with foreign um, clients who are coming into South Africa from different jurisdictions. It's quite nice to have a general understanding of how their tax systems work um, wherever they're coming from, whether it be the US, the UK, Germany. It's quite nice when you're having a conversation and you say it's very similar to, this, to your jurisdiction in this regard or it's different from your jurisdiction in relation to the following things. And it, it gives the client a lot more confidence that you know, they then understand how the process works and, and what the complications are. Topics become more and more international in the lights of BEPs and related um, subjects, permanent establishments, profit allocation. Um, it's all in the beginning stages, but everybody is more or less facing the same problems. So having the contacts, exchanging information on a fairly regular basis is just important to all of us. Attending these meetings, hearing what other people have to say, listening to lectures and seminars has enriched my um, knowledge base 100%. We've made great relationships, uh, we've referred and gotten business, all as a result of these meetings. It gives our opportunity to bond with our members uh, from, you understand. Again, it affords us opportunity to know the latest, uh, the recent development as touching tax in their countries and uh, it has been a wonderful meeting. Each year we discuss in details several arguments, very nice, like transfer pricing. This year we discuss about BEPS, the integration of BEPS, and it's a good opportunity. It's, uh, I, I wait uh, this uh, opportunity during the year in order to share with my colleague uh, uh, this information. Our clients, they do appreciate uh, being members of an international association. It certainly gives us a, a different status, I would say. Um, belonging to an association gives clients comfort, gives clients uh, the knowledge that if they need uh, tax assistance elsewhere, outside their jurisdiction, they could rely on us for introductions um, and to facilitate any type of international tax work. So it certainly helps with um, international clients.